Over a year ago, I came across this article on Forbes.com talking about 12 dying kitchen trends in 2023. At the time I did a whole live stream on this topic, it ended up being my most replayed live stream on my channel. I wanted to see if the trends that were listed on that list were truly gone in 2024. Were their predictions right? How do I feel about their predictions now? And what does the future of kitchen design trends look like? We're going to cover that right now. The first trend on their list of dying kitchen trends was, of course, the white kitchen. Now, the problem with this prediction is that it's fairly obvious. I consider it to be low-hanging fruit when it comes to trends to pick on. Because everyone has an opinion about the white kitchen. Some love it, some hate it, some are in the middle. But it seems to be on everyone's list of the things that are going out of style in the future. Now, I don't disagree that the white kitchen maybe has been overdone. In fact, I did a poll on my own channel here asking you if you would prefer a white kitchen or a wood kitchen or some other color. And 30% of you did vote for white kitchens, but 46% voted for the wood kitchen. So while white kitchens are on the decline, I certainly do not think that they are going out of style anytime soon. The reason I don't think white kitchens are going to be a thing of the past has to do with big box stores. You can go into any big box store in North America and they will have a white kitchen as a stock cabinet. 100% of the time, this is going to be the case. The reason a lot of these stores carry white cabinets as a stock option and online cabinet companies as well, you go to any RTA company, they'll have a white kitchen. The reason is, one, it's a little bit cheaper to make a white kitchen. The other reason is that they all do recognize that white is very, very popular. If you're trying to flip a home, do a small project, do even a big project, white seems to be the cabinet color of choice for many consumers. And because all these other colors are definitely more trendy, it's a bigger risk to stock them on their shelves because now they got to do something with all these cabinets. And what if that blue kitchen trend goes out of style? They're not going to go away anytime soon because everybody has access to them. For now, white kitchens are definitely not going anywhere. The next item on their list of kitchen trends that are going out of style was the open kitchen concept. Now, I do agree the open kitchen concept might be a little bit overdone. The open concept kitchen lends itself really well to a kitchen island, which many homeowners desire to have. The open concept also gives the kitchen this bigger feel. So even though you have a smaller space, the kitchen feels bigger because there's no walls to close it all in. Many homeowners want that feeling in their kitchen, plus it lends itself to a more social environment. I think people still want to have that community social aspect in their kitchen for the most part. And then some of us, of course, we want to close our kitchen off because we don't want to see the mess. We don't have to deal with it right away. We want to go and socialize and leave all that stuff behind us. So there's two ways of thinking about it. But as far as it being a trend that goes away, nah, -uh. I do not think the open concept kitchen is going anywhere. Now coming up next is the matte black hardware. Now they're picking on matte black. It probably is a trend that is going out of style because hardware is so easy to change. You can change your hardware every week if you wanted to, if you desire to put something new on there. Now that will get expensive, but it is possible. So matte black hardware, is it a trend that is gone in 2023? It's probably definitely not as popular as it used to be. So I think they probably got this one like half right. So good on you. Next is upper cabinetry. Now the problem with saying that is if you're going to just get rid of upper cabinetry and replace it with open shelves, no, I don't think this is the right approach. Now you just have a big mess on your hands. However, if they mean they're just getting rid of upper cabinetry altogether, then yes, this is a trend that's growing. So removing wall cabinets and having nothing on the wall is a growing trend. Removing wall cabinets and having open shelves, unfortunately, is also a growing trend. We all know now that the open shelf is tricky. The dirt, the dust, the bugs, the grease, like it, it's, you just gotta be careful. Having wall cabinets, by the way, I don't even think is a trend. There's a functional aspect to having the cabinets on the wall. If you're removing them to replace them with open shelves, just know what you're getting into. It, it's not all as glamorous as it looks on the internet when you're looking at a picture. That's curated for that picture, but probably 95% of the time, it's a mess. At the end of the day, I don't think wall cabinets is a trend that's going out. People need wall cabinets. It's kind of like saying, oh, I think countertops on its way out. That's a trend that's going. Well, no, <laughs> you need countertop. So don't get rid of them because it looks trendy. If you need them, you need them. 
So this isn't a trend that's going away. Okay, the next one is this, faux finishes. Okay, so that basically means that if you're going to have countertop, which is what really they're talking about, you have to have only natural stone because it's the only thing that's not faux. If it's natural, then it's not faux. And if it's faux, it's not natural. And everything that's not natural is faux. So quartz, porcelain, Corian or acrylic surfaces, any kind of surface that's man-made is a faux finish. So you have stone or you have butcher block, which is, you know, man-assembled, but it is natural. So those are your choices. So they're saying that these finishes, these options are going out of style. They're not going to be trendy anymore. And I couldn't disagree more. Quartz countertop, it's as popular as ever. It's not going anywhere. For them to say this, I think, is a little bit, I don't know, not in touch with <laughs> the common reader. For a lot of us, we need to choose what's available and what fits our budget. And what is that? It's going to be quartz countertop. So no, I don't think that faux finishes are going out of style. I don't think they're not going to be trendy. I think they will only be more trendy because they're only becoming more affordable. And that is a big thing to think about when you're talking about your kitchen renovation. Let's move on to the next one, which is an interesting one. Herringbone backsplashes. Now, I always get chevron and herringbone mixed up. This is what herringbone looks like. This is a herringbone pattern. It is when the tiles are on a diagonal and they overlap on the ends. Now, the issue with the herringbone backsplash is it can look a little bit busy. And it seems to be that in contemporary kitchen design, right now at least in this era that we live in, the trend is to have things a little simpler. That's why slab backsplashes are very popular right now. We want things to look sleek and simple. Herringbone backsplash definitely doesn't give you that simple look. There's quite a lot of pattern going on, though it's a very nice pattern. Are herringbone backsplashes going away? I'm not sure herringbone backsplashes were ever like the dominating trend anyway. It's just one of those options. So I don't think it is trendy enough to say that it won't be a trend anymore. I don't think it carries enough weight. Like a white kitchen, back to that, carries enough weight to be considered a trend that we can discuss its going and coming. But herringbone backsplash pattern, it's like, eh, it's just an option. There's a zillion other options for backsplashes, and I don't think it's as popular as maybe this article is making it out to be. It can be trendy, but it's not trendy enough that it's going out of style and everyone's like, oh, we, we're so sick of the herringbone. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I could be wrong. I've probably been wrong about all kinds of stuff. This whole thing is wrong. The next thing on the list, Carrera marble. So it's like, make up your mind. Are faux finishes going out of style or are natural finishes going out of style? Well, this particular one being Carrera marble, the argument is it's not like it used to be. They don't have the slabs they used to have years ago. The rock they're getting it out of is just has a different vein. It looks different. It's not the same Carrera marble as it used to be in the past. And therefore, it doesn't look as nice. And so for that reason, it's going out of style. So if it's not the same Carrera marble as it used to be, then the old Carrera marble is still very popular, right? So yeah, the new thing that's maybe ugly is going out of style, but it's not the old one that everyone loves. So the old Carrera marble, if you can get your hands on it, definitely maybe that's something you'd want to consider in your kitchen, though a lot of people don't like marble in a kitchen because of all the problems that marble possesses in a kitchen. But if you're going to go with the new Carrera marble, apparently that doesn't look nice and is just gross, well, yeah, obviously that's not going to be trendy because <laughs> no one likes the look of it. <laughs> Next on their list, which I just find interesting, is over-the-range microwaves. They have appliances over the range, but it just means the over-the-range microwave. And this is an unfortunate trend. They're just so easy to purchase and get your hands on with the idea that you're saving space with this two-on-one thing. I can't stand them. They're too high, I think they're dangerous, and I think they look ugly. I'm glad this is on their list. I think it should have been on the list back in 1999. Get rid of these things. They shouldn't be in the kitchen at all. It's the most horriblest place for a microwave. All the grammar police in the comments, stop. But it's true, and uh, I think they got this one right. Over the range microwaves definitely have to go. Get a microwave at a good level, counter height, chest height. Don't put it up by your head. It's too high. You got to take hot stuff out of there. You need to have landing area. You don't want to drop stuff on your range anyway. You don't have to be leaning over your range to get something that can be dangerous. So for most people, who, definitely who are shorter, getting it down lower is a great option. Countertop height, chest height, where you can really access it and use it. Now I know my over the range people out there, 
I love you. This is just, you know, you know I got to say it. So I said it. All right. The very next thing, of course, is contemporary aesthetics. Contemporary aesthetics are going out of style, meaning that more people are wanting to have kitchen design styles that are more traditional, transitional, Scandi, Japandi, Canadiandi. Contemporary just means kind of whatever is modern and looks good at the time. It's it's no specific style, it's just kind of that modern look. So really, I think of contemporary as a shaker style door. It could be a two-toned kitchen, it could be a white kitchen, but it, it could be just wooden cabinets, it could be flat panel doors, it could be a little bit of high gloss. A contemporary kitchen definitely has open shelves. A contemporary kitchen probably has an over the range microwave. Now there's elements of the contemporary kitchen that you know we should get rid of, but there's many aspects of the contemporary kitchen aesthetic that you love. And so therefore you're gonna hold on to those things. So to say that the contemporary kitchen aesthetic is going to be a thing of the past, I don't think that's very accurate. And the next one they did dial in on, it happens to be the farmhouse kitchen style. I get clients all the time who ask for a farmhouse sink, shaker style doors, two-toned kitchens. It's still very popular. I get more and more people asking for that beigey color kitchen, which is becoming popular. That beige color is certainly becoming more and more popular. Blues and the greens are still popular, the wood tone. All of these things will lend itself to the farmhouse style kitchen, which is still, I think a popular design choice. As with any kitchen style, the rest of your home and the style of your home will dictate the style of the kitchen that you're going to put in that home. If you have this architectural dreamy home and you put a farmhouse kitchen in, obviously it's not gonna look place, but if you live out in the country, then it kind of makes sense. A lot of people live out in the country. There's a lot of people who live out in more residential rural areas. And therefore, I think this farmhouse style look is still something that is quite popular. The farmhouse style kitchen is definitely here to stay. Shaker is still very popular. It's changing a bit. Interestingly, it's not even on their list. That would have been something that would have been on the list is shaker style kitchens because that I think is something that people are trying to get away from more than anything else, but they didn't put it on here. So now we talked about herringbone backsplashes. Now they're just saying tile backsplashes in general are going to be a thing of the past. No, they are not ever going to be a thing of the past. As long as there's tile to be purchased at a store, people are going to put it on their backsplashes because it's economical to do so. There's so many options. People like having options. You can get creative with it. So it is still going to be a thing. Do I love grout? No. However, do I have the money to put a full slab backsplash of my favorite marble or porcelain or quartz? No. And you might not either. And so if that's the case, you want to put something on your wall tile is going to be the option that you go with. Saying that tile backsplash is going to be a thing of the past is an egregious error in my opinion. Next on the list is the ultra modern kitchen design style. I do agree that this is more on the trendy side of the kitchen design styles. High gloss in a kitchen is definitely something that I seen in 2010-ish. So the high gloss thing I think is probably something that's very niche, very specific, and a trend that will be you know selected by a few but not by the masses. And therefore, yeah, I think it's easy enough to say that this would be a trend that is going out of style. We're gonna see less of it in 2024. Now, interestingly enough, they have a, another article, six kitchen design trends going away in 2024. And you'll never guess what's first on their list for the 2024 list, white kitchens. Again, the white kitchen is on their 2024 list. And it was on their 2023 list. I bet it was on their 2022, 21, and 20 list as well. And it will be on their 25 and 6 and 27 list too, because the white kitchen is clearly not going anywhere. They're trying, but it's just not going anywhere. Next on their list was the farmhouse kitchen aesthetic, which was on their list in 2023. Now it's on their list in 2024. Do you see the pattern here? These things aren't going out of style. The next thing on their list was matte black hardware. It's the same list in 2023, in 2024. Matte Black Hardware is still here. It didn't go anywhere. Then they have combined ranges and ovens. So just the, the regular run-of-the-mill classic kitchen range, stovetop, oven. That is going to be a trend that is going out of style. Now, first of all, I don't think the range oven combo is a trend in the first place. It's just, it's an appliance that happens to be 
very practical for many people, mostly for space constraints, because you don't have room enough in most kitchens or a lot of kitchens to have a wall oven and a separate cooktop because that just takes up a lot of a lot of space. So you have these ranges and these ranges have been around forever. They're not going anywhere. So I think this is completely wrong. Yes, if you can put a wall oven in, do it. I think it's awesome. It's, it's a better convenient height and you can have a cooktop. That's great. And yes, you can put a cooktop with an oven underneath. So to say that this appliance is going out of style, definitely not. I, I just think that's incredibly wrong. Now, the next thing on their list for 2024, which is new from their 2023 list, was visible appliances, being able to see your appliances. So this really has to do with fridge and your dishwasher, because those are the most paneled appliances. You don't panel your oven. You don't panel your microwave. This is becoming trendy, but not trendy enough to say that seeing your appliances is a thing of the past. Listen, we're North Americans. We don't mind seeing our dishwasher. It's not that big a deal. It's just like part of the kitchen. It doesn't really matter. Yes, that's my fridge. I don't need to cover it. It looks fine. The idea that we have to panel everything, I think it gets redundant. Colored appliances are becoming more and more popular for this very reason. We want to see our appliances. And yes, covering your appliances with panels is definitely trendy and cool and all, but this is not for everyone. I do not think anytime soon seeing your appliances will be a thing that we're like, oh no, we just can't do that. No, it's not gonna happen. Next on their list for the 2024 list was high contrast tile backsplashes. I think what they mean is just busyness on the backsplash. And I agree. I think we are definitely seeing more simple backsplash patterns or of course the slab backsplash, which is very popular, but very expensive. So it, it limits people from being able to do it. But yeah, I do think that the high contrasting, very busy backsplash tile is probably a little bit of an older trend and we will see less and less of it. But again, it's tile and there's so many options and I don't think you can take one type of tile pattern and say that it's trendy enough to not be a trend anymore. It's just, there's so many options for tiles, like I mentioned. So good on them. I think maybe they're half right with that one. And then they have this on the fence. They're on the fence about this one now. Now this one appeared in their 2023 list and it was the open concept kitchen. Now they're on the fence about it. They don't know. Oh, we thought it was going out of style, but now it's like, eh, I don't know if it is or not. We're kind of on the fence now. Just get off the fence. It's not going out of style. If you have an open concept kitchen, you're safe. And check out this video for the most popular kitchen trend of the last 30 years. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.